a Lightroom feature that everyone's been asking for in Photoshop is here. Check it out. Do you know in Lightroom and Camera Raw, we can select people automatically or parts of the people. We can now do this in Photoshop. So we're going to grab the Object Selection tool. Under the Object Selection tool, you'll see this is doing its thing and you'll see Select People. If we roll down, we can see if I select the one on the far left, it will select all the people. But we can go in and we can select the individual people. To see them all, hit the little plus and all the people in this photograph are now shown. So say we want to select this particular woman or part of her. Let's click on it. And now we have the option to choose entire person, which is what's highlighted right now. Or we can look at the different parts. So let's break it down here. We've got things like hair, eyebrows, eyes, pupil. Let's do teeth and let's whiten these teeth. So we're going to choose the teeth and we're going to hit apply. What it's doing now is it's making a selection around those teeth. Now, there's a couple of ways we could work. One is we could copy that to a new selection. Or the other thing we could do is an adjustment layer on that part of the photo, which is what we're going to do now. So we're going to create an adjustment layer. And the way to whiten teeth, by the way, is to not brighten them, but just to remove the saturation. So we're going to use hue saturation. Notice as I do that, I get a adjustment layer with a mask just specifically on these teeth. You can see right there. We do is we take saturation, pull it down. Notice as we do that, it just removes the appearance of any color and gives us whiter looking teeth. What you don't want to do is go to lightness and get like that because it just looks very, very fake. Okay, what else can we do? Let's go back to the layer and let's choose select people. Let's go back to the same person and this time just to see how well it works, we're going to grab the hair and we're going to choose apply. All right, so now I've selected the hair. Maybe we want to change the hair color. Once again, go to the adjustment layer. You don't want to apply the adjustment directly on there because then it's going to be destructive and you can't change it later. But if we do it as an adjustment layer here and we do something like say hue saturation, we could change the color of your hair very quickly and easily. Now, if there's little bits that got left over, I can see this did a decent job, but it wasn't perfect. Let me just show you what you would do without spending a ton of time on this. You could grab your brushes and I would use something like a hairbrush on here. And if we're inside that mask there and we want to add to it, we would just simply paint with white. If it went over and we wanted to get rid of it, we would paint with black. And you can see that we'll remove it. So just use those masks to refine those. This is not a tutorial on masking, so we're not going to spend time on that. And if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. Now, where do you find this? Well, what you want to do is you want to go to the beta version of Photoshop right now. So if you click on the Creative Cloud icon, this will open your Creative Cloud app. You're going to choose apps. You're going to choose beta. And then you'll see the Photoshop beta. Now, you want to look for an update. If you don't see it, you can force an update by going into here and just choosing check for updates. Then the latest updates will show in there and you can run that. Now, the nice thing, at least on the Mac, you can run Photoshop beta and the regular version at the same time. So you can use the beta to test out the new features and then use the regular Photoshop for production work. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go into a large group of people here. So we've got a bunch of people. And we're going to grab this tool, let it select people. All right, so let's see all the people that we've got here. All right, that's interesting. So by the way, you can roll over and you can select any of these items just by rolling over here. So say we wanted to select her top. We're just going to click on it. Now, we could do the same thing using the select people. We'd go in here. We would see there's a woman we want to select, show all, and then we would grab the upper close, which is what we were able to do just rolling over. And at this point, we could change the color of this if we wanted to a hue saturation adjustment. And we can make this any color we want. Let's go for a kind of a blue. And of course, we could increase or decrease the saturation if we wanted something like a gray or even we wanted to go to black. We could do that very easily just making these adjustments here. Well, let's go in a situation like here. Here I am. At the Brooklyn Bridge, I want to select the whole person. I could go on the outside and click. See that? 
or we could use select people. There I am. And we're going to do entire person apply. Okay. I want to remove myself from here. So we're going to use generator fill. We're going to click here. In the past, they told us never to put prompts in there, such as remove and different things like that. But now this has changed. They're telling us now they do want us to do that. So we're going to say remove person. And that's a whole different topic for another tutorial if you guys want it. And then we're going to hit generate. And there we go. I've now removed myself from the picture. So there's a first look at the new select people. And I'll do more tutorials on that if you guys want it in the future. So these new auto selections are really exciting. If you want to know more about making selections in Photoshop, check out this other tutorial here. And don't forget to check out the website to see the written instructions on this. And by the way, let me know in the comments underneath if you found this useful. And if you want me to do a more advanced tutorial on this topic, we can dig a little deeper. And if you're new to the cafe, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.